Hello, I am Dr. Che and you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, I will write the second part of model essay 10, uh, second body paragraph and conclusion. This is a agree or disagreement essay and uh, uh, overall this is essay writing course in particular for IELTS and TOEFL students and in general for any English uh, exam. Uh, please subscribe to my channel look at the description box for updates and links to my facebook groups like and comment to encourage me share with other students to help them subscribe to my channel and press bell icon this one to get more free courses on vocabulary grammar writing speaking listening and reading also so this is an overview of my essay writing course i have started from four assessment criteria then i would go for each type of uh, different classes about time management, how to plan essay, how to generate ideas, paraphrasing, introductions, conclusions and many more things. Then I would go for each type of essay. Nowadays I am on essay type 5, agree or disagree essay. I would write more than 15 model essays in my course. So and I would guide you each thing step by step. Open playlist of my channel and watch complete course in order. Link is given below in the description box. I would write a complete model essay and explain you everything step by step. I would intentionally make some mistakes in, in my essay to test your knowledge. At the end I would correct these mistakes and I would explain you everything in detail. As you can see this was my essay. Some people say that it is impossible to tell a lot about a about a person's culture and character from their choice of clause do you agree or disagree this was the question and uh, my brainstorming is here culture i have written about the first point so in my second body paragraph i am going to write about behavior i have disagreed with this point that uh, we, you can tell about someone's behavior because telling about someone's personality is difficult by seeing its clause. Criminals and law-abiding citizens cannot wear the same type of clause, but they are different. Their behavior is different. Their characteristics are different. And we cannot tell, tell about children because their clause are chosen by their parents and we cannot predict their behavior because they have not chosen their clause. So my the, here is my introduction and here is my first body paragraph i have agreed with first first uh, idea and now i am going to disagree with the second idea so it is my partially uh, agree essay so i would start from transition i have used on the first hand in my first body paragraph and it is it opposite thing here so i would start on i would write on the other hand On the other hand, I completely completely I completely disagree that people's choice of choices of clause singular would be better choice of clause i completely disagree what is the problem here or confusion the people's choice of clause can i have used in my in my introduction uh, but i can address can tell a lot a uh, speculated speculation and here i would use a different word that someone's choice of clothes can uh, predict can predict their character so I would go for detail. It is impossible. A uh, personality uh, impossible. It is not 
I would use hedging here almost impossible because if we use only impossible this is over generalization and over generalization is is usually penalized in the as tax too almost impossible to tell someone's to tell someone's personality let us go so let us give example of someone's personality such as such as he or she is narrow minded or broad minded or easy going easy going by just looking at their choice of clothes now let us give uh, about personality then we can talk about criminals and normal citizens and then about children so this is our plan a criminal for example a criminal or a law abiding here we will use hyphen here law abiding citizen can both wear jeans so we might be unable to instead of predict foretell this is how we can change our language foretell predict speculate their character by just their dress so next why can use a example of children are also more over as far as children are concerned as far as children are concerned they mostly wear clothes which are selected by their parents moreover as far as children are concerned they mostly wear clothes which are selected by their parents if they are selected so we cannot tell about their behavior therefore it is difficult to anticipate children's level of intelligence or standard of behavior standard of behavior by looking at their shirts or trousers therefore it is difficult to anticipate children's level of intelligence or their standard of behavior by looking at their shirts or trousers trousers we would use in plural we would use trouser with uh, with uh, s 
so then we go we would go for conclusion in conclusion we would write uh, transition signal number one transition signal number two we would write uh, we would we can um, summarize our main ideas and we can give our restate our opinion to make our s strong so we can use, can use these three things in our conclusion in this essay in conclusion it seems to me instead of uh, i believe i think we can they use this word also it seems to me that our culture and can be predicted our culture can be predicted but our personal behavior cannot be guessed so different words by the selection of clause in conclusion it seems to me that our culture can be it our, our culture can be predicted but our our personal behavior cannot be guessed by the selection of clause so this is a simple conclusion this is sufficient conclusion you can also uh, uh, present here what was the what were the main ideas for each of these uh, uh, types but if you write in this way this is, that is okay and uh, that is a fine conclusion so as you can say we have written uh, the complete essay in less than 40 minutes as now i am i am teaching less i don't need to because this is essay number 10 and i have uh, explained you many things in uh, former essays so we are writing a bit more uh, faster uh, maybe at the end of um, uh, the course you would be able to write in 30 minutes or 35 minutes your complete essay because now we are uh, practicing more and i am explaining less and this is like a real exam so at the end we would need to uh, proofread proofread our uh, exam for the mistakes number mistakes common mistakes are spelling mistakes uh, subject verb agreement subject verb agreement mistakes punctuation sentence fragments sentence fragments and what more any other grammar or vocab mistake okay you can uh, make your own list of common errors when you are going to practice just to avoid them and to uh, to pick them improved them let us have a look some people believe some believe that people's culture and behavior can be predicted but by taking into account their style of clothes in fact i partly agree with this notion because the farmer can be easily speculated but i don't believe believe dress can tell a lot about someone's characteristics that is fine here on the one hand wearing particular type of clothes can give us some key information about the wearer's customs and traditions almost every that is fine here almost every country or state when we use R between two nouns, two subjects, we have to use singular verb has. If you don't know, go to playlist of my channel. In my grammar course, I have uh, given everything about subject verb agreement in the class of subject verb agreement. It owns norms about clothing and people can easily recognize can easy can be easily recognized when they wear their traditional clothes. For instance, if a woman here 
the if a woman woman is singular so we have to use here wears this is common mistake that student mistake make wears let us make it green now has is green now hijab which involves covering one's body and face with long clothes it is automatically assumed that she must be a muslim due to her style of clothing additionally many western people can be easily recognized by their short clothes or jeans and even within a country we can easily differentiate between rural and urban citizens by looking at their clothes for example many people in modern many people in modern cities like fashionable and costly clothes whereas people from remote areas and villages uh, often prefer traditional or cheaper ones so my second body paragraph is on the other hand i completely disagree that people's choice of clothes can predict can predict their characteristics their character it is uh, almost impossible to tell someone's personality such as he uh, he uh, she is in her weather she uh, such as weather he or she is narrow minded narrow minded here we should use hyphen without hyphen we cannot use here narrow minded are easy going by just looking at their choice of clothes a criminal or a law abiding citizen can both wear jeans so we might be unable to foretell their character by just uh, looking at their dress moreover as far as children are concerned they mostly wear clothes they usually they usually mostly they mostly wear clothes which are selected by their parents therefore it is difficult to anticipate children's level of intelligence or standard of behavior by looking at their shirts or trousers in conclusion it seems to me that our culture can be predicted but our pers personal behavior cannot be guessed by selection of clothes by over by the by the selection of clothes that is fine seems is okay it should be with s seems that is fine here at the end i would say that after watching my complete course on essay writing you would be able to write very good essays but remember before taking your exam i would recommend you to take feedback from any rs expert i am not saying that you should avail my service but in any true rs expert i would start my correction service in the last 6 months of 2021 i would hire an rs expert from uk a native english native english teacher and we would both work together to provide you advanced comprehensive and cheap writing correction service this is my facebook id you stay in touch with me if i can start this service earlier you can also join my facebook group for any updates i would give the updates there uh, please subscribe to my channel look at the description box for updates and links to my facebook groups like and comment to encourage me share with other students to help them and subscribe to my channel to get more free courses on vocabulary grammar writing speaking listening and reading also my vocabulary and grammar courses are ready on my channel nowadays i am working on writing and then i would start other courses also thank you very much